Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and check out the sponsor of this video, ToyHacks.com. Hi, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper, and this is the Legacy Generation 2 Laser Optimus Prime, and I love this toy. But he's missing that Generation 2 look, that colorfulness that the original toy had. Hey, Bert! <laughs> Hey, Patriot Prime, where did you come from? It's the internet, man. Anything's possible. Here, put these ToyHacks.com decals on your Laser Optimus Prime. I think you'll get that G2 look that you're looking for. Whoa, dude, you got to show me how you do that. All right, awesome. Let me put these on and uh, let me get right back with you. A few moments later... Holy crap, Laser Prime now looks amazing. He looks just like the original toy, thanks to Toy Hacks, and thanks to you, Patriot Prime. You are welcome. Not only does Toy Hacks make decals for the modern Transformer figures, but they also make reproduction decals for the vintage G1s. Check out their toy stages to find a cool backdrop for your collection display and visit the Toy Hacks Armory. They have a wide variety of weapons in multiple colors. And don't forget, each purchase with ToyHacks.com adds RoboSense to your account that you can use for future purchases. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And don't forget, tell them Patriot Prime sent you. The featured bot in this video is the New Age Legendary Heroes The Warrior Legend Scale Cyclonus. Now, I recently picked this figure up from ShowZStore.com and was amazed that I got it in 10 days. So that's quite impressive coming from China. So taking a quick look at the packaging, we've got the Armada Evil Robot Force, number 43, The Warrior, T-Y-R, some great artwork of the warrior, Cyclonus, right there. Side of the box, we got Legendary Heroes, Cyclonus in Jet Mode and Robot Mode. Back of the box features Jet Mode only with images of the Revenge. And this side of the box, it's the same image as the other. Now, I picked this figure up thanks to my friend Deluxe Baldwin. I was looking at some of these new Legend Scales figures just because... I've got a couple New Age figures. Granted, the couple, they're all Megatrons. It's the same figure, just recolors of Megatron. And I just wanted to see what else New Age had to offer. And I saw this guy, or Deluxe, review this guy, and he looks awesome. And I'm a big Cyclonus fan anyway, so I had to pick him up. So now, without further ado, let's check out this mighty mini Cyclonus. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get New Age's Warrior all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that is actually fairly well illustrated and easy to follow. He also comes with two blasters, this purple one right here that is very reminiscent to his Generation 1 toy blaster. I love that. Anytime there's a G1 homage. And then you have this second weapon, which looks like his weapon from the cartoon show. Also, it looks just like the weapon that came with the Kingdom version. The Warrior also comes with two sets of hands. You got a left and right gripping hand and a left and right open hand. Now, there is no hands attached to the figure. The fists or hands will go right there in those slots. So I'm going to take a moment and take these hands off, install them on the figure, and we'll take a closer look at the warrior himself. 
Now, as I mentioned in the intro, the warrior, who I'm going to call Cyclonus through the rest of this video, comes packaged in his alt mode. And this is one fantastic looking alt mode. I love this thing. This is just a very beautiful figure. I mean, look at the paint job. I love the metallic blue, the metallic purple, and all of those great details. He's got the orange translucent cockpit right there that looks really, really good, aside from right there in the middle where it connects, but it's still not that bad. Very, very streamlined, even has his little needle point tip there on the end. Just a absolutely stunning Cyclonus toy. I mean, he is pretty much dead on to how he looked in the animation. Now underneath the figure, he does have landing gear, but if you can see, it doesn't really do him much good because he's so back heavy. So whether you have the landing gear down or not, he's still gonna sit the same. Now taking a look underneath the jet where I had the hands installed, as you can see, I have a closed fist and an open hand, and that's how they look in jet mode. So. Pretty much, you can't tell he's a robot at all, except the fists and hands are pl pretty glaring, especially the thumb sticking out right there. So you do have the option. Um, I guess you could put the other fist in right there because it doesn't look as bad as the open hand or just leave the hands off. But of course, you risk losing one. Now, another thing I noticed, QC pass, and that's something I really appreciate because if you watch my channel, I just uploaded a short. I just got this Studio Series Daniel figure in, and look at that. One of the wheels is discolored. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, and there's also a crack in it. So it's discolored right there and there. So Hasbro, maybe you should get yourself some of those QC stickers. So all in all, man, I love this jet mode. This is just an awesome looking streamlined Transformers jet Cyclonus figure. And I couldn't be happier with how this thing looks. A little gap right there in the back, but hey, that's no biggie whatsoever. So now let's go ahead and get Cyclonus transformed. And I love the transformation on this guy. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the needle up and under right there like so. And that's mainly so I don't accidentally mess with it whatsoever. I don't want to risk breaking this figure at all. So first thing we'll do is take the bottom of the figure, which is the legs, unpeg from the back and just extend these out. <clears throat> I'm sorry, allergies are bugging me. And then take this section here, the feet, fold these down and then slide them forward just like so, and go ahead and flip the toes up. So now here, what we're gonna do is go ahead and separate the arm section or the wings. It tabs in right there, so pop that loose, pop the hands loose, it tabs in right here. So get that popped out, that popped out. And now you're gonna take the figure and kind of bend like so, revealing these tabs. This will make it where you can flip these back sections over and around, which are going to form the back of the legs. So take these purple sections, fold these over, and they're going to tab in right there. And then underneath the little flap is another flap you're going to open up. And this is going to fill out the inside of the leg. Just bring this in right there, tab it in. I can get to show. Say so tab that section in and then tab the foot in and there you have one of the legs. So we'll do the same thing over here. Flip this little panel up. Peg it in the leg and then peg the foot in and there you have Cyclonus's legs. Let's go ahead and peel, peel off that QC sticker Send that to Hasbro so they'll know what I'm talking about. Now here for the wing section, unpeg the sides here, rotate them around, and then peg them in here at the top. Go ahead and do that on both sides. And then bring these sections down for the back. 
you're going to fold that down. You go ahead and make sure the landing gear is flush against the vehicle. Fold the front of the nose cone up, then fold the middle section in, rotate, and then you'll push down and this will all fit right in here inside Clonus's back. Just like that. Go ahead and turn side Clonus's head around and open up his horns. Once again, if I can get my fingernails in. Now for the arms, you're gonna bring the arms down and then rotate to where the bicep is facing forward. Do that with the other side. Make sure that is unpegged. Rotate that around. Go ahead and bring the hands down. And now this section right here with the fin, this is actually on a joint that you're gonna rotate around just like so. Make sure the blue section is on top. And lastly, we're gonna take the wings, fold them back and over. And now take the hips and push these up into place just like that. And there we have the warrior in robot mode. In robot mode, the warrior looks just as awesome as he did in jet mode. I absolutely love the face sculpt right there. That is one of the best Cyclonus faces I've seen in a long time. And that metallic blue carries over so well. He does have some translucent orange right there on the lower part of the chest and for the stomach. And just fantastic paint job all the way around. I mean, I love the looks of this figure. He does have a little bit of a backpack, but really it's not that bad. So yeah, this guy is awesome looking. Articulation, the head is on a ball joint, can look up and down, side to side, do a complete 360. Ball joints are a little tight. Arms can do a complete 360 as well. They can also lift up and down. Also the inside of the arm can lift up and down. There is a bicep bend, a nice deep bicep bend and wrist rotation because the wrists do peg in. There is an ab crunch, a deep ab crunch. Legs can go forward, they can go back. You do move this little hip skirt section out of the way, out, in, knee bend, and ankle tilt. So he's got some great articulation. And of course, you can give him his weapons. My favorite here is the G1 style weapon. Just peg that into his open hand. And there you go. That looks so cool. You can get some pretty awesome poses with Cyclonus here. <laughs> that just, I love the looks of this guy. Now, a pose I saw on Shozy's website, see if I can pull it off here, is turn the hand around. He's holding the weapon, kind of tilting his head. So it's like he's looking through the scope. I dig it. I love these little Legends figures with all of their awesome articulation. And let's see, we'll put the other gun in his hand. And I didn't really show this earlier, but this other gun has some nice little blue paint details right there. So that's what he looks like with his cartoon blaster. Got the arm hand bent down there. So yeah, there you go. So there he is with the cartoon blaster and this figure just looks awesome. Now, of course, you can attach both gripping hands so he can dual wield, but I personally like having one gripping hand and one open hand. But if you do want to see how he looks wielding both weapons, there you have Cyclonus all armed and ready for battle. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is New Age's Legend Scale The Warrior with Generation 1 Cyclonus, Classics Cyclonus with Toy Hacks Armory Cyclonus Gun, Combiner Wars Cyclonus, and Kingdom Cyclonus. The New Age Legendary Heroes The Warrior is an awesome Cyclonus toy. I love the looks of this guy with the metallic blue and the metallic purple and the fact he is so cartoon accurate. This by far is my favorite Cyclonus figure 
in my collection. And I am a huge Cyclonus fan, which is part of the reason I got this guy. He's got a great alt mode, fun transformation, fantastic robot mode, and loads of articulation. I can't rave about this guy enough, and I am so glad I picked him up. So there you go, guys. The New Age Legendary Heroes, The Warrior, Cyclonus. So, does the New Age Legendary Heroes, The Warrior, Legend Scale Cyclonus belong in your collection? Well, if you're a Cyclonus fan like I am, or collect these Legend Scale figures, absolutely, New Age knocked this one out of the park. This is a beautiful figure with the metallic paint job and the cartoon accuracy. I love this guy. I couldn't be happier with him. And he's going to look great on the shelf with my other Cyclonus. And I'm not too concerned about scale because I'm an old school G1-er. You know, back when Blaster was bigger than Menasaur. <laughs> you know, no one liked G1. So yeah, if you are in the market for a legend scale Cyclonus, highly, highly recommend this guy. And right now he is on sale at showzstore.com for 15% off. And I'm going to put a link in the description so you can get one of these if you're in the market. And yeah, man, I can't rave about this one enough. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I have a new super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!